There are several scalar and vector quantities that we need to tell apart. Scalar is just a number. Vector doesn't only have a value, but a direction as well. Distance is a scalar. Displacement is a vector. The unit for both of them is meter. Speed is a scalar. Velocity is a vector. The unit for both of them is meter per second. For example, a person moves to the right by one meter, then to the left by one meter, and back to the starting point. The distance he traveled is two meters. However, the displacement is zero, because displacement is a vector, and the right and left moves cancel each other. The final effect is as if the person has remained still. Displacement is a vector. So if we set the right direction as positive, and the person moves to the left by one meter, then the displacement is minus one meter. Velocity is the rate of change for displacement. We use s for displacement, and v for velocity. Then, v is delta s over delta t. It's a vector. For example, if the person moves to the left by one meter in one second, then the velocity is minus one meter per second. Acceleration is the rate of change for velocity. A is delta v over delta t. It is also a vector, its unit is meter per second square. Sometimes, under not so stringent conditions, distance and displacement, speed and velocity, can be used interchangeably. Now let's look at constant acceleration in a straight line. Constant acceleration means the velocity changes at a constant rate. If you look at the first row of the table, the acceleration is 1 meter per second square. At time zero, the velocity is zero, meaning the object starts from rest. At time 1 second, the velocity becomes 1 meter per second. At time 2 seconds, the velocity becomes 2 meters per second. At time 3 seconds, the velocity becomes 3 meters per second. The velocity keeps increasing by 1 meter per second every second. If you look at the second row of the table, the acceleration is 2 meters per second square. If at time 0, the velocity is 1 meter per second, then at time 1 second, the velocity becomes 1 plus 2, which is 3 meter per second. At time 2 seconds, the velocity becomes 3 plus 2, which is 5 meters per second. At time 3 seconds, the velocity becomes 5 plus 2, which is 7 meters per second. The velocity keeps increasing by 2 meters per second every second. On the third row of the table, the acceleration is minus 1 meter per second square. If at time 0, the velocity is 1 meter per second, then at time 1 second, the velocity becomes 1 minus 1, which is 0 meters per second. At time 2 seconds, the velocity becomes 0 minus 1, which is minus 1 meter per second. At time 3 seconds, the velocity becomes minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2 meters per second. The velocity keeps decreasing by 1 meter per second every second. Let's take a special look at when time is 1 second. The velocity is 0. When the velocity is zero, the object is at rest. In this case, the object starts with one meter per second, and gets slower and slower. At time one second, it comes to a stop, which we call, instantaneous rest. And immediately after that moment, the object starts to move in the opposite, or negative, direction. From that moment on, the velocity keeps decreasing, but the speed, or the absolute value, keeps increasing. The object is actually moving faster and faster. So be careful here. When an object's velocity keeps decreasing, it doesn't necessarily mean it moves more slowly, because velocity is a vector. We use U for initial velocity. V for final velocity. A for acceleration. We can see, v is u plus a times t. 
and if we know the initial and final velocity, the acceleration a, is v minus u over t. We only care about the straight line movement. So u, v, and acceleration, can be positive or negative. We know displacement is average velocity times t. Since the acceleration is constant, the average velocity is half u plus v. So the displacement s is, half u plus v, times t. We also know, v is u plus a t. Substitute v in the previous equation, we get, s is half u plus u plus a t times t. So, s is u t plus half a t squared. From v is u plus a t, we get, u is v minus a t. Substitute u in the first equation, we get, s is half v minus a t plus v times t. So, s is v t minus half a t squared. From v is u plus a t, we get, t is v minus u over a. Substitute t in the first equation, we get, s is half u plus v, times v minus u, over a. So, u plus v times v minus u is 2as. This is, v squared minus u squared equals 2as. So, v squared is u squared plus 2as. Now, we have these five formula. Each formula has four variables. If three values are known, we can work out the fourth value. A train moves along a straight track with constant acceleration. Three telegraph poles are set at equal intervals beside the track at points A, B, and C, where AB is 50 meters, and BC is 50 meters. The front of the train passes A with speed 22.5 meters per second, and two seconds later it passes B. Find, A, the acceleration of the train. B, the speed of the front of the train when it passes C. C, the time that elapses from the instant the front of the train passes B to the instant it passes C. Let's sketch it out. A B is 50 meters, and B C is 50 meters. The initial velocity at A is 22.5 meters per second. It takes 2 seconds to go from A to B. For part AB, we know three values. The initial velocity, u, is 22.5. Time t is 2. Displacement s is 50. We try to find A. So we can use the formula, s equals ut plus half a t squared. Put in the values, we get A, as 2.5 meters per second square. For part AC, we know three values. The initial velocity, u, is 22.5. Displacement, s is 100. A, which we just found out, is 2.5. We try to find the final velocity v. So we can use the formula, v squared equals u squared plus 2as. Put in the values, we get v as root 1006.25 which is 31.7 meters per second. For part AC, we can use t equals v minus u over a, to find out the time. v, which we just found out, is root 1006.25. u is 22.5. a is 2.5. So t is 3.69 seconds. Time for AB is 2 seconds. Therefore time for BC is 1.69 seconds. We can see that there are usually 3 known values, and we are asked to find out the fourth one. There are 5 formula to choose from, 
and each of them has four variables. We need to choose the right one to use, based on which three are given, and which one needs to be found out. In this class, we learned. Displacement, velocity, and acceleration are vectors. Distance and speed are scalars. For constant acceleration in a straight line, V is U plus AT. S is half U plus V times T. S is UT plus half AT squared. S is VT minus half AT squared. V squared is U squared plus 2AS. Each of these five formula has four variables. If three values are known, we can work out the fourth value.